Well, in this uh, video, I want to go over how to compute t critical values using GeoGebra uh, for confidence intervals with various confidence levels. So again, we're looking at t critical values here, not z. So it's a slightly different process. For the first part, I want to compute a 90% confidence interval where we have 24 degrees of freedom. So I want to look at uh, what is alpha. Just like before, this is still 1 minus 0 0.90, which is 0 0.10. And then we look at alpha over 2, which is half of 0 0.10, which is 5%. So I have a 10%, it's 5%. And uh, this value goes in the right tail. Now I gotta look at the other thing is degrees of freedom is 24. Okay, so this means uh, well let's look at GeoGebra and see to see what happens. Um, the first thing I want to look at is we're not in the normal distribution, we're in student. So student T distribution. And notice right here there's a DF for degrees of freedom. This is my only input to change the function. I'm going to type in 24, click enter to change this. And then on the right side, the right tail, I want to enter 0 0.05. Alpha over 2 goes inside the equals box, 0 0.05. Click on enter. And there I've got 1.7109 as my confidence interval. Excuse me, my uh, critical value. So T sub alpha over 2 going to be equal to 1.7109. Uh, let's look at part B. We want to get a 94% confidence interval and we have a sample size 33. Population standard deviation is unknown. So let me write out since population standard deviation is unknown. We need to use student distribution. All right, and uh, we have degrees of freedom is n minus 1 for uh, one sample. So this is 33 minus 1. So I end up with 32 degrees of freedom with the sample size 33. And now I want to compute alpha is 1 minus 0 0.94, which is 0 0.06. And then alpha over 2 is half of this value, so 0 0.03. And this is the value that goes in the right tail. So I need to go to GeoGebra. Move this over here. Degrees of freedom in this case is now going to be 32. Click on Enter. And right inside this box, the equals box, I'm going to type 0 0.03. Click on Enter. And I get 1.9499. So right here, this is my critical value. So T subscript alpha over 2 is going to equal 1.9499. Alright, last example, we want to compute a 98% confidence interval with a sample size of 5. And we only know sample standard deviation S. So since population standard deviation is unknown, we use student T distribution. All right, and now we need to think about our degrees of freedom, which is n minus 1 for a single mean. In this case, this is 5 minus 1, 4 degrees of freedom, since we have a much smaller sample size. And we have alpha is always 1 minus confidence level, 0 0.98, so that's 0 0.02. And then we have alpha over 2 is going to be half of this, 0 0.01. So alpha over 2 is what I plug into the equals box, and I need to input my 4 degrees of freedom. The degrees of freedom is 4, click on enter, and on the right in equals box I'm going to type in 0 0.01.
one for snapping each tail. Click on enter, and I get 3.7469 as my degrees, or excuse me, as my critical value right here. So we get T subscript alpha over 2 is equal to 3.7469. So a couple things to point out, we use the T critical value, student T's distribution, if we do not know population standard deviation, or if we only know sample standard deviation, and then we need to enter the degrees of freedom, use student T's distribution, and otherwise it works fairly similar to computing Z scores.